It is for the children of the slums the only chance they get to play in an open space. With India's population growing, it means even more pressure on already crowded cities. This man, though, is reversing their lack of life chances through his charity. Vapas, straight line, okay? But it isn't easy in a country where the gap between rich and poor is getting bigger. One of the big problems India has is because of a lot of the cultural contexts you have within communities, children, and particularly girls, don't participate in those resources. So you'll have lots of schools, but if you took a sort of 12th standard uh, classroom, only 1% will be a girl. You know, 60% of Indian children can't count to 10. Matthew Spacey came to India from England 15 years ago for business. But he was moved by the country's profound poverty, so he started the charity Magic Bus. If the finish line here is the school, and there are many obstacles, it's about how do we change our behavior to get to the finish line. It's now helping quarter of a million children across the subcontinent to rise above their daily challenges. As India's economy has grown, the number of people sharing in the new prosperity has actually got smaller. It's estimated that more than 350 million people in this country now survive on less than 70 pence a day, and slum areas are continuing to get bigger. Now, they're not only unhygienic and rife with disease, for the children it's particularly difficult, as it's very claustrophobic. There's not much room to move around and play. Asha shares this room with her family. She says their lives have improved since her children started getting out and going to classes at Magic Bus. The charity has more than 700 staff, and many of them are from local communities. Today, many of the children who were going to the school, but they were not regular to the school. Now they are going regular to their school. And besides this, if we talk about the health and hygiene also, now they are basically known that they have to cut their nails, they have to cut their ears, and to take a bath on a regular basis. In the last 20 years, there's been a mass exodus from the countryside to the cities as India industrializes. But programs like this are offering some respite from the growing pains of city life. Alex Rossi, Sky News, Delhi.